First, you must set your multimeter to read resistance or ohms. That's one. Now I'll set the other one up for you. And you'll see we have two pins that are standing in the middle and we have the two shorting bars that are standing right next to them. The shorting bars are now making contact with the pins. What you're wanting to accomplish is you're wanting to separate the shorting bar from the pin so that you can get an accurate measurement of resistance. See how the shorting bar moves back and stops touching the bar. You don't need to push both of them back. Just pushing one back is enough. One will do. A good seat belt will give you a reading from, of a range of anywhere from 2 and 3 ohms. That's 2 to 3 ohms on a good seat belt. Test a good seat belt for you so you can see the reading of a good seat belt. Two point three, two point four, 